Now, the crisis in India calls for introspection, no doubt. There are lapses and failures. It's true that nobody could have predicted such a big surge. Now, it is uh, also true that India could have been better prepared. It's also true that mass religious and political events could have been called off. A blame game in the middle of a crisis may not help, but that does not mean that we don't hold governments to account. So the Indian courts have stepped in. Now, they are making sure that those leading us do not become complacent. At least 11 high courts have pulled up various state governments and the centre. Now, the Supreme Court of India has made it absolutely clear that the judiciary won't be a silent spectator in the current crisis. Our next report explores if India's courts will dictate its pandemic response. Take a look. When the executive branch lags behind, the judiciary must step in. As the common man struggles due to lapses, Indian courts are making sure the political class is held to account. At least 11 high courts across India have intervened to ensure governments do not become complacent. The high courts in Delhi, Allahabad, Patna, Kolkata, Hyderabad, Ahmedabad, Nagpur, Aurangabad, Mumbai, Bangalore and Chennai are hearing petitions about the COVID-19 situation in the respective states. Their interventions and criticism of the government's responsible is both sharp and reassuring. On the 27th of April, the Delhi High Court pulled up the Aam Aadmi Party government, saying its confidence was shaken over the handling of the crisis in the national capital. The court said, Set your house in order. Enough is enough. If you cannot manage it, tell us. Then we will ask the central government to send their officers in and do it. We will ask them to take over. We cannot let people die like this. The High Court has directed the Delhi government to address the alleged mismanagement in the distribution of medical oxygen and ensure oxygen supply by all means necessary. On the 19th of April, the Allahabad High Court pulled up the Uttar Pradesh government for its approach in dealing with the rising cases. The court said, Those in power must shun the attitude of my way or no way. They should welcome suggestions from all quarters. We would be laughed at that we have enough money to spend on elections, but very little to spend on public health. The court also ordered a lockdown in five major cities in the state, but the order was stayed by a Supreme Court directive after the UP government protested. In West Bengal, which held a month-long election in the middle of the second wave and will count votes on the 2nd of May, the Chief Justice of the Calcutta High Court has pulled up the election commission. He said, The ECI is empowered to act, but what is it doing? Just passing circulars and leaving it to the people? Issuance of circulars and holding of meetings by themselves do not discharge the onerous responsibility of the ECI. The court has directed the Election Commission list the steps it has taken. On the 16th of April, the Gujarat High Court also took the state government to task for downplaying the severity of the crisis. The court said, Hiding the real picture, suppressing accurate data would generate more serious problems including fear, loss of trust and panic among the public. The court has directed the state government to ensure its affidavits reflect the ground realities. In Maharashtra, the Nagpur bench of the Bombay High Court has pulled up both the state and the centre for failing to comply with its order to supply 10,000 units of Remdesivir in the Vidarbha region. The court said, if you don't feel ashamed of yourself, we are feeling ashamed of being part of such a nasty society. You are neglecting and ignoring patients. We give you a solution, you do not follow it. You do not give us a solution. What absolute nonsense is going on here? Absolute nonsense. These were the exact words of Justices S.B. Shukre and S.M. Modak. High courts in other states have also been unsparing in their remarks. The Patna High Court, the Karnataka High Court, 
द तेलंगाना हाई कोर्ट एंड द मद्रास हाई कोर्ट हैव ऑल पुल्ड अप रिस्पेक्टिव गवर्नमेंट फॉर देर हैंडलिंग ऑफ द करंट क्राइसिस As for the Supreme Court of India, it first directed the center to submit a national COVID plan. Now it has pulled up the government over disparity in vaccine prices, demanding that the rationale behind different prices for center and states be explained. The apex court has also said it won't stop high courts from hearing petitions in their respective states, adding that the judiciary wants to play a complementary role and cannot be a silent spectator to what it called a national calamity. Be report we on world is one we on now available in your country download the app now get all the news on the move